CS 3D Imaging, Prosthetic Driven Implant Planning Workflow Recorded Class. This recorded class is designed for clinical team members. It provides the workflow for planning a prosthetic driven implant case. By the end of this class, you should be able to acquire a patient 3D volume, acquire a patient 3D model, align the model with the 3D volume, place a crown, place an implant, generate an implant planning report, and export the data sets for use with a third-party guided surgery system. The Prosthetic Driven Implant Planning Workflow includes these steps. Acquire a patient 3D volume. Acquire a patient 3D model using CS8100 3D, CS9300 units, or CS3500, 3600 intraoral scanners. Align the model with the 3D volume. Place the crown. Place the implant and generate an implant planning report or export the data sets for use with a third-party guided surgery system. Cases supported by prosthetic driven implant planning are for a single missing tooth or a partially edentulous patient. Important: Fully edentulous patient cases are not supported. Minimum computer system requirements are Acquire a 3D volume of the region of interest using a CS8100 3D or CS9300 units. These CareStream Dental CBCT units and fields of view are specifically adapted for this use. Be sure to use the appropriate 3D bite block during the X-ray acquisition process. Then perform an evaluation of the region of interest and take the necessary measurements. Important! During the scanning process, make sure that the patient is not in occlusion. Follow the guidelines for using your CBCT device. Acquire a patient 3D model. You can acquire a 3D model by taking an intraoral digital impression using a CareStream CS3500 or CS3600 intraoral scanner. Orthodontic, restoration, or implant acquisition modes can be used to acquire the digital impression for a prosthetic-driven implant planning analysis. When using the implant mode, select standard abutment. When using either the implant or restore mode, capture and identify a minimum of seven teeth in the scan. When using the orthodontic mode, check the arch is registered correctly as maxillary or mandibular. For additional information, see CS3500, Acquiring a 3D Model for a Restoration Recorded Class, and CS3600, Acquiring a 3D Model for a Restoration Recorded Class, in the CareStream Dental Institute. You can also acquire a 3D model from a conventional impression, silicon or alginate, obtained using a CareStream Dental CBCT unit and the 3D object acquisition module. Use of a plastic tray and a full arch impression are mandatory. Use of triple or partial tray impressions is not supported. For additional information, see CS8100 3D acquiring images for CS model recorded class, and CS9300 3D, acquiring images for CS model recorded class, in the CareStream Dental Institute. Align a 3D model. After arch placement, in the Tools panel, click the Model Align tool and select a model to align with your patient volume. The Patient Models window is displayed and available models are listed, sorted by date, in the side pane. 
you can hover the mouse over a model to display the following information. Acquisition Type Equipment Tooth Numbers In the list of models displayed, in the Patient Model side pane, select the model to be aligned to the patient volume. Click Align to launch the automated model alignment process. The CS3D imaging software launches the automatic alignment of the model with the patient volume. You can add both the maxillary and mandibular models in the volume when required. When complete, the aligned model and patient volume are displayed on the 3D view screen. The outline of where the model's soft tissue meets the slice panes is displayed as a green line in the following view screens. Axial slice view screen, reconstructed panoramic view screen, and oblique coronal cross-section view screen. The model appears in the Object Management panel. Check that the alignment has been performed correctly by comparing the patient's teeth with the model. To show or hide a model, in the Object Management panel of the Curve Slicing tab tools, click the drop-down arrow and select Model. The Object Management panel displays the information bar of the models aligned with the patient volume. In the list of models, click the open eye to hide a model. Click the closed eye to show a model. To show or hide all models in the volume, click the eye repeatedly. You can manually adjust the automatic alignment of a model with a patient volume to refine the result based on careful analysis of the anatomical details. The virtual tools in CS3D imaging software are intended to enhance and simplify implant-supported restoration. No algorithm, however, can replace the dental practitioner's experience and skill. To manually adjust the automatic alignment of a model with the patient volume, in the Curve Slicing tab Tools panel, select a model from the drop-down list. Click the pencil to open the Adjust a Model Alignment window and edit the automatic alignment of the model. When you open the Adjust a Model Alignment window, the aligned model and patient volume are displayed in the 3D view screen. The outline of where the model's soft tissue meets the slice planes is displayed as a green line in the axial view, reconstructed panoramic view, and oblique coronal cross-section view screens. Note, you cannot adjust an automatic alignment directly in the 3D view screen. The 3D view screen enables you to visualize adjustments you make to the automatic alignment. If you move the model and it does not meet your expectations, click Reset in the side pane to return the model to its initial position. In the Adjust a Model Alignment window, the opacity of the 3D view screen is set to 50% by default. You can modify this setting to better highlight the relative position of the model and patient volume. In the left-hand pane of the Adjust a Model Alignment window, click and drag the slide adjuster. The opacity setting of the patient volume is displayed in the 3D view screen. To move the model, select the model outline or one of the grab handles and drag it to a new position. The grab handles enable constrained movement, left and right or up and down, to ensure greater precision when repositioning a model. To move an object without any directional constraint, click on the omnidirectional grab handle. To rotate an object, select the Rotation Grab handle and drag the axis to a new position. To increase the precision of the adjustment, drag the Rotation Grab handle outwards. As you rotate the model, the angle of rotation is displayed in real time. 
To complete repositioning of the model, release the object and click OK. To cancel modifications and exit the Adjust a Model Alignment window, click Cancel. To undo a model alignment adjustment, in the Configuration side panel of the Adjust a Model Alignment window, click the Undo button. The last adjustment is undone. You can undo each prior modification by clicking the Undo button repeatedly. Note, if you leave the Adjust a Model Alignment window and return, you can undo modifications that have been validated and saved during a prior session. To redo a model alignment adjustment, in the Configuration side panel of the Adjust a Model Alignment window, click the Redo button. The last adjustment undone in the Adjust a Model Alignment window is redone. You can redo each prior undone adjustment by clicking the Redo button repeatedly. To remove all manual adjustments and return the automatic model alignment to its original position, click the Undo button. All manual adjustments applied in the Adjust a Model Alignment window are removed and the automatic model alignment returns to its original position. Place a crown. To place a crown in the patient volume, on the Curve Slicing tab, draw a trace along the dental arch and align a model with the volume. Note, the crown button is available only on the Curve Slicing Workspace tab and is deactivated until a trace has been drawn along the jaw arch. Based on your analysis of the anatomical details, carefully select the initial crown position, taking into account the soft tissue data of the digital model and the position and height of adjacent crowns. To select the initial crown position, Use the yellow and blue grab handles to adjust the position of the axial slice plane in the panoramic and oblique coronal view screens. To optimize crown placement, set the blue vertical grab handle of the axial plane at a right angle in the reconstructed panoramic view screen, and set the yellow horizontal grab handle with reference to the occlusal plane and the position of the adjacent teeth. After an analysis of the anatomical details and when the optimal position for the crown placement is chosen, in the Curve Slicing tab Tools panel, click the Crown button. The Crown Selector window is displayed. Select the appropriate crown number by clicking on the corresponding tooth image. The crown is placed in the position defined on the patient volume and is displayed in the crown list of the object management panel. Note, the CS3D imaging software can support up to eight crown placements in the same volume. Reposition a crown. The crown position can be adjusted manually on the Curve Slicing Workspace tab using the Object Editing Tools. When you place a crown in a patient volume, it is automatically displayed in the Object Management panel of the Curve Slicing tab Tools. To reposition a crown in the Tools section of the toolbox, click the Select arrow. The button is displayed in blue to show Selection Mode has been activated and all drawing objects in the workspace are displayed with grab handles. To move a crown, in the view screen of your choice, click and drag the object to a new position. To rotate a crown, select a rotation point by hovering the mouse outside one of the corners and click and drag the object to move it to a new position. To resize a crown, click to select one of the corner grab handles and drag the object outward or inward. Release when the crown is the desired size. 
To stretch or squeeze a crown to adapt its shape to anatomical conditions, click one of the grab points located at the center of the sides and drag the object inward or outward. Release when the crown is the desired shape. Manage crown objects. When you import a crown, it is added to the object management panel in the extended tool section of the curve slicing tab toolbox. This panel enables you to manage the full range of objects added using the tools. Display crown information. In the object management panel, click the drop down list and select crowns. The object management panel displays the list of crowns. Click the bullseye button to automatically center all view screens on a selected crown. To show or hide an individual crown, in the crowns section of the object management panel, select an individual crown. Click the open eye to hide a crown. Click the closed eye to show the crown. To show or hide all crowns in the volume, click the eye repeatedly. To replace an existing crown, click the pencil. The crown selector window is displayed, and the crown you want to replace is highlighted. Select the new crown you want to use. The crown is replaced in the Curve Slicing tab view screens. Important! A replacement crown can be selected only from the same quadrant, and you will probably have to reposition the crown. To change the color of a crown, select the color box. The color selection window is displayed. Select a color and click OK. To delete crowns, click the trash can alongside the individual crown you want to delete. Or, to remove all crowns, click the trash can at the top of the crown section. Note, make sure you want to proceed before you click the trash can. No confirmation message is displayed. Place an implant using crown positioning. CS3D Imaging Prosthetic Driven Implant Planning enables you to position an implant based on the final position of the crown. When you have placed a crown in the desired position, take measurements to calculate the position and size of the implant. To place an implant using crown positioning, in the tool section of the Curve Slicing tab toolbox, click the Implant button. The Implant Library window is displayed. Note, this button is available only on the Curve Slicing Workspace tab. The button is deactivated until a trace has been drawn along the jaw arch. On the Implant tab of the library, scroll through the list of available implants in the catalog. You can use search filters to narrow the list of available implants. Select the implant. To associate an implant with a crown, select a crown number from the Associate with Crown drop-down list. Then select the Associate with Crown option. To create an abutment to associate with the implant, on the Implant Library's Abutment tab, select Create an Abutment and enter the abutment parameters. The implant and abutment are displayed in 3D, and relevant implant reference information is displayed. Click OK. The implant with the abutment are imported into the volume based on the position of the crown and are visible in all views of the Curve Slicing tab. To display implant information, in the Implant section of the Object Management panel, hover the mouse over the small implant icon. 
a tooltip is displayed containing implant information. If you move the view in the volume, the implant may disappear. If this happens, click the bullseye button in the toolbox to automatically center all views on the implant. When the implant placement is complete, you can generate an implant planning report. In the Curve Slicing tab Export Tools, click the Generate Report button. The description window is displayed. You can add comments here if needed to display in the report. Click OK. The report is created in CS Film Composer. Page 1 includes a summary of the implant planning on the panoramic slice, a list of implants, and comments entered in the description window. Next, one page per implant with slice images and implant details. Then a final page showing 3D views. It is important to set the desired 3D view before generating the report. The 3D image shown will correspond to the 3D view set before the report is created. Note. CS Film Composer manages all print requirements for CS Imaging products. For more information, see the CS Film Composer online help. To configure the implant planning report preferences, on the Curve Slicing tab, click the Preferences button. The Preferences window is displayed. Click the Implant Planning Report button to access the report preferences. In the Implant Planning Report Preferences window, select the Output Options. Template. Select the format A4 or U.S. Letter, Orientation, Landscape or Portrait, and Background Color, Black or White. Slice Count. Slice Thickness. Slice Spacing Mode Prompt for Description Include 3D Views Click Apply to save the preferences. Export data for a third-party guided surgery system. In the CS Imaging Patient Browser, select the 3D volume and the 3D model to export. Right-click and select Save As. Select the folder and location to export data. Select the format of the 3D model. Select Compress Two Items to store data as a zip file archive. Click Save. The data is exported to the folder and location specified. To export data from CS Orthodontic OMS Imaging, select the patient visit containing the 3D model and 3D volume. Right-click on the visit and select the Export option. Select Location to save the export folder and click OK. The data set is exported. Now you should be able to Acquire a patient 3D volume Acquire a patient 3D model Align the model with the 3D volume Place a crown Place an implant Generate an implant planning report And export the data sets for use with a third-party guided surgery system.